So basically, one of my commenters said that <coughs> I was using a different translation other than Witch Hunt. So basically, I had to uh, restart the visual novel itself to apply the Witch Hunt translation. Actually, it was on my... Actually, it was already in the files, but I didn't know that I had to change it. So I changed to Witch Hunt and now I had to restart everything. So basically, all my total clicks are down to basically nothing right now. So we arrived at episode 2, chapter 2, wonderful Utopia, so let's save here. <laughs> basically, at least Mineco Project lets you unlock the second uh, the second chapter right away so just press the unlock button and I was already on the second episode and we're here now so basically all I lost basically was just a few of my trophies and the total clicks Last episode, uh, Beatrice offered a, a deal with Shannon so she could break the mirror and and then I guess Beatrice would resolve her love life with George. But I think it's going to be a monkey's ball situation. Jessica's cheek had been stuffed with chocolate-coated Chinsoku biscuit that Shannon had brought as a present from Okinawa. And it came, and it all came flying out at Shannon when Jessica cried out. Shannon-san,何のために沖縄まで旅行に行ったんだよ。それも、ジョージ兄さんと二人っきりで。それはその…<laughs> Tell me if um, the music is too loud uh, or not, because I don't think I've changed it in the menu yet. Because I think it's a little bit too loud for me. If it's too loud for you guys too, or if it's too, too quiet, I'm going to fix it next episode. Right now they're in these two positions. Yeah,だからさ。健全な男女が大人にありで旅行に行ったわけだろ。それでキューも投げれば、ギューもないのかよ。ましてや、部屋は男女に別部屋ってなんだよ。Yeah, come on. Oh, but I shouldn't encourage. I shouldn't encourage this relationship because she's still underage. あ、でも、牛はありましたよ。ジョージさんの胸、温かかったです。そういうことじゃねえぜ。なあ、もう。なんだってこんなカップルがいるんだよ。なあ、もう。Yeah, why do couples like this exist? That's the point, Jessica. She's underage and he's like 23. It's so bad. <laughs> From Shannon's point of view, it was an incredibly happy trip for various reasons. It looked like Jessica found her their pace to be pretty irritating. Did she already break the mirror? For a while, Jessica chewed her present, complaining about romance and pretending to faint in agony in her bed. Shannon and George had chosen to go to Okinawa because there was a huge aquarium there. Wow, that's far away. Wow. They're in Tokyo, right? Basically. That's really, really far. They did this because an aquarium had given them the opportunity to start going out. Since their relationship had started at an aquarium, having their first of a night trip also be to an aquarium must have held some commemorative value. So because Shannon is the pure, uh, shy, trope character. Basically... 
人にどうかしてるぜそれはそのお互い独身の男女ですし、oh, oh, yep. ジョージさんがそこをしっかりするのが男女のマナーだとおっしゃって。Yep, that, that's the trope they're going for here. だからそれを踏み越えるためのお泊り旅行じゃねえのかよもはやギュとかギュとかのレベルじゃねえぜおお嬢様がどういう意味でおっしゃってるのかわかりませんがジョジョージ様は最後まで本当に真摯でいてくださいましたそれはその私もそういうことがあるかなというかでも私たちお付き合いはしてますけど、mm. そのべ別に結婚してるわけじゃないし on, I mean... お嬢様が期待されているようなことはそのちゃんと神様の前で誓いを立ててからするべきですその、uh... す,す,するべきですその<笑> did, did I just did I already comment that I don't like Shannon's trope at all? <laughs> And I love to see those trashy anime. But whenever there's a girl that has Shannon's personality, I just turn off. Shannon's face got bright red. She made a circle with both hands, restlessly intertwining, separating and making hearts with them. Apparently, the dramatic. Dramatic progress that Jessica looked forward to hadn't happened. It seemed to have been a very important experience for Shannon in her own way. In the end, whether Jessica was jealous of Shannon or made fun of her, it didn't change the fact that Shannon had a huge lead on her. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Jessica is two years older than Shannon. カリス作る時は一緒だぜって約束したのに抜け駆けされたあのお嬢様は素敵な方ですから私なんかよりきっと素敵な方がすぐに現れますそういう慰めはいらねえぜいやジャスカハズだアピールアゲスシャーロンの
to... Um, how do I say this? Jessica is too outgoing for her own good. <laughs> That's... I think, people, I think the guys would get intimidated by, by that. That and her name, I guess. It's strange because Shannon is younger than than Jessica. George preyed on 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 Shannon, so you can't say the same thing. Ooh, that's bad. Yeah, it's too loud still. Return to the levels that were, were before. Before she realized it, Jessica was shedding huge tears. Jessica didn't really feel like crying, and of course, she felt like supporting Jan Shannon's progress in love as a friend. However, as she had cheered Shannon on, true feelings had suddenly got mixed in, and she couldn't help but shed tears. Shannon understood Jessica's innocence, innocent and easily injured heart. The rough style of speech Jessica usually used was all just an attempt to protect that fragile heart. As a daughter and successor to the Ushirimiya family, and as a girl isolated on Rakenjima, the only person she could expose her true feelings to was Shannon. Shannon understood that. So she strongly regretted acting smug. Even if it was only a little. お嬢様は素敵な方です。そんなお嬢様に素敵な男性が現れないわけがありません。しゃの、もう時間だろ。早く行かないと。また現地さんや母さんに怒られるぜ。私は全然平気だから早く行きなよ。悪いな。泣いちゃったりなんかしてさ。バカみてえだぜ、私。Jessica faced away, acting as though she didn't really want to trouble Shannon, waving her hand as though chasing Shannon away. Shannon took that as a sign that Jessica didn't want to be bothered anymore, bowed her head and left the room. When Shannon's footsteps disappeared into the distance, Jessica lay down on her bed, still hugging a cushion. Her expression was still a little meek, with tears in her eyes. But for the first time in a long time, she had a very, very quiet and honest conversation with her heart. I want yeah, Jessica is put in a very difficult situation. Well, her mother truly does care about Jessica. It's hard to connect. As Shannon happily watered the flower beds in the garden, she sent someone's presence. She turned around thinking if only that if one of the family had come to visit, she must greet them. But what she saw was that witch. Ish. Be so she's appearing everywhere now, huh? Did Shannon already break the mirror at this point? As Beatrice sat on the rose arch, she happily blew her on her pipe. Sitting in a place like that would crush the roses. It might have been dangerous if the arch fell over, but this was a witch after all. After all. Showing concern for her safety was probably a waste of time. Yeah, 
while I don't like Shannon's archetype, I actually really love uh, Beatrice's archetype as a character. はい。おかげさまでその順調です。当然よ。我々の魔法は敵面である。そなたには<笑> Which was calling attention to something. Two things, actually. First, that Shannon's relationship with George was a fate that would be absolutely impossible under normal circumstances. Second, that the power of the witch was great enough to overturn that fact. Shannon had just gotten wrapped up in those sweet days and had started believing the illusion that all fate revolved around her. She remembered the witch's words. Originally, her relationship with George had been impossible. No, it might be impossible in that future, in the future as well. Sumanu, Sumanu. Isha to onaji yo. Yamai ni nayame ba sugaru kuse ni. Naore ba kansha mo wasureru. Oof, Beatrice is speaking facts. Majo ga kansha sareta tameshi wa nai no de na. Tsui hikutsu ni natte shimatta. Yurusu ga ii. Kansha no kimochi wo wasureta koto wa arimasen. Shannon going to forget? Okay, I don't know. I'm seeing, I'm seeing where this is going. There,、there needs to be some monkey spa or something like that involved. <laughs> Your wish is granted, but something else is taken. Or maybe your wish is granted in a distorted way. Beatrice is definitely going to collect the interest later on. That's my theory right now. Shannon's face suddenly lit up. The witch laughed lightly, as though amused by the speed of that transformation. Hmm.もはやそなたの思い人は一方的に思うだけの存在ではない。互いに思い思われる恋人同士よ。愛に満たされた二人にとって世界はただそれだけで成立する。<laughs> While Beatrice's voice actress is amazing, <laughs> Beatrice laughed pleasantly. That smile made her look as though she blessed the lover's rendezvous from the bottom of her heart, without a trace of malice. Mm, I don't think so. There's something that she wants. After that day, Beatrice had shown herself before Shannon every once in a while. Even now, Shannon thought of her as an unsettling being. However, she was, all, she was also indebted to this person for the magic that led to her current relationship with George. So Shannon tried it with all her might, not to act surprised or scared. So... so that... 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 ベアトリーチ様、旅行のお土産にお菓子を買ってきたんです。よかったらそのベアトリーチ様もいかがでしょうか。ほう、魔女に土産とのうん。It <laughs> seemed that even a witch who boasted of living for 1000 years hadn't imagined that she received that she'd receive a souvenir from a sweet lover's trip. Okay, Beatrice is actually quite cute. When she saw that surprised expression, Shannon thought of this witch as a friend from for the first time. Oh. 
ほうほうラードと小麦粉で作った東洋クッキーかそれを西洋風にチョコで包むとはまさに和洋折衷菓子のシルクロードよのおなんだ Oh my god, that's bright. Oh, that's bright. So cute. Oh my god, look, look at her. Look at her face. Nani go kashi? Okay. Yeah. It's late, it's m a s t e This witch surely held a terrifying power. Was chopping down on sweets one after another, making a sound like a squirrel, stuffing walnuts into its mouth. You know what I like the most? Actually, charismatic antagonists、you、can have a good time, you know. Many villains are like megalomaniac,、um, and always focused on their evil plans and whatever. But I like a villain who can relax as well. Hmm. For example,、uh, Jujutsu Kaisen,、uh, you have Mahito and Geto just playing、uh, the game of life. Or was that actually、uh, Monopoly? I don't know. I don't remember. But that was a really, really fun addition. So, now I'm going to go to the Dolce Vita. I'm going to go to the Dolce Vita. The more relatable and entertaining the villain is, the better they are, in my opinion. The witch was in a great mood, fully enjoying mo- modern candy. Think Shannon had softly sat on the table was a gold colored butterfly witch. She loses it, then what happens? The Oof, that was the wrong thing to say, Shannon. Haimobaratonazika.Sunitasehiwa.Neoksarasel.Kuro,Senebahagumenohanamoaro.Naraba.Skinisurungayoi.Minitskez.Hosekibako,Nakanishimaumoyokaro.Solewa.Sonatany
I don't know. I know the 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 archetype of Beatrice is very well, and I know how sadistic people can uh, people like her can get. Yeah. <laughs> She's the person who just builds up a person just to watch them fall. That's that's the vibe I'm getting. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon, you're so fucked. The witch laughed heartily, but it looked like a sad laugh in Shannon's eyes. She herself had been that, like that in the past. No, maybe she was still like that now. Beatrice was definitely a witch. With a strange and terrifying power. Most people would probably wouldn't want to stick around her if they couldn't if they could help it. Surely, even those who had relied on that strange power sometimes felt fear rather than gratitude as a result. In the case of Kinzo, plain obsession, I guess. It must have deeply hurt the witch to have, to have that happen over and over. Since the time she had started thinking that way, Shannon had tried to stop being frightened of Beatrice. This was surely something that tormented the witch for a thousand years. Oof. I'm sorry, Shannon. Maybe she really liked those sweets. Beatrice, who normally spoke abusively, praised the black tea that Shannon had served her. It looked to be in rem remarkably high spirits. After doing that for a while, the witch and the servant grew animated in the discussion of the trip of George. The things Shannon actually knew about Beatrice were surprisingly f few. First of all, she was a ghost-like being, who appeared in unexpected places at unexpected times, and it seemed that not even everyone could perceive that she was there. Apparently, everyone, ha everyone has something called a wavelength, and the ability to perceive witches varies greatly among different people. Only Shannon and Cannon could interact with her enough to exchange words like this. There were a few people who could sense their presence, but most people couldn't even feel that much. From what Beatrice said, Cross and his wife, in particular, had zero magical talent. No matter how much she followed them around, they would never notice her. Once earlier, when Shannon messed up and Natsuhi got really mad at her, Beatrice started playing around, hitting Natsuhi on the head with her pipe. I see, Natsuhi really didn't, doesn't notice a thing. But Shannon, watching that, had burst out laughing. <laughs> oh shit. Without thinking, and gotten scolded even more. <laughs> oh, that would be a funny scene. Oof.金像も同じよ。<laughs> As soon as they started talking about Kinzo, it felt like the atmosphere around Beatrice had changed. She had spoken about Cross and the rest's lack of magic talent as though she looked down on them. She spoke of Kinzo in a different way. Anyone connected to the Ushurmiya family will know about Kinzo's legend of gold. According to that, Kinzo was given the gold after summoning the witch Beatrice. In other words, she must have had some kind of relationship with Kinzo. だからあれは才能の人かけらもないくせに至ったのだ狂ったように毒学を重ね魔術師の息にまで達したそれはとてもすごいことなんですね。うん。the witch would usually look down on people, was uncaressively offering her praise. As she lambasted him by saying he had no talent, she praised his efforts. そして、親方様は魔法の力でベアトリーチ様を呼び出した。うん。まあ、召喚に答えたのは気まぐれだ。魔法を否定して久しいこのご時世に、才能のかけらもないものが必死にやっているのでな。<laughs> <laughs> 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 Turned 
choice of words highlighted how much of a disaster this has been for her. This had been for her. Shannon hesitated over whether it would be safe to continue this discussion, but Beatrice continued on her, on her own, ignoring Shannon. いつよ、書式もルールも揃っていた。いくつかの作法が混在していたが、まあその熱意に免じ、寛大に契約に応じてやったのだ。そして我らは山なす黄金を与えてやった。そしてお館様はその黄金を使って事業を成功させ、今日
わらわとはどうでもいいことなのだが困ったことに魔力の基礎が違っててなわらわの魔力にも強い干渉を及ぼしておって非常に迷惑していたのだそうだったんですか私はてっきりベアトリーチ様を封じていたものだとばかり Me too. わらわを対象にしたものではないだが神格のある鏡だったからな結果としてわらわの力を封じ込めていたわけだ料理に例えるならこうかわらわの注文した西洋料理が厨房でまさに料理されているとするところがいざ配膳しようとしたら客席は日本風で懐石料理が並べられている場だっただから厨房は場違いな皿を出せずわらわのところへはいつまでたっても西洋料理が届かないといった感じよのだからそなたに日本風の客席を打ち壊し場を一度白紙に戻させたのだ<音楽>そのおかげでようやくわらわの注文した料理が届き力が戻ったというところか。もっともようやく食前酒が届いたというところよメインディッシュにはまだまだ遠い今のわらわなど靴屋の妖精にも劣てる希薄な存在でなうんシェッスクリスクワイトサンタイムフォーデメインディッシュメインディッシュビンヨーライフスクワイトビヨーライフシェネン Be careful. Oof. Hmm? <laughs> 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 I love this face of Beatrice. Oh my god, so cute. I'm 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 so cute. よもや笑われるとは思わなかったぞ。Okay, this is bright as well. So、cute. 少し心外だ。Slightly sulky expression. Rose to the witch's face. It wasn't a strange expression at all to be appearing on the face of some friends as they enjoyed their tea. こう見えても。昔は残酷極まりないことで知られたわらわだったが。Didn't you do that in the last episode now? My, my lady? <笑>丸くなったものよ。<笑>人間とこうして、たいない話で茶を買わせるようになるのだから。She was probably talking to herself. As Beatrice gazed at the seabirds, tracing the horizon. Her tea to her lips again. 雲が出てきたな海も制裁をかけば灰色の水たまりに過ぎぬそうでしょうか曇っても海は美しくて真っ青だと思います<笑> Maybe the witch noticed the deep meaning behind Shannon's words She laughed lightly and sat down her empty teacup もはやそなたの両目に埋められているのは黒い石ころではないらしいどうだ家具から人間に生まれ変わった気持ちは理解できておるか<笑>はい世界がこんなにも優しかったなんて知りませんでした This is the start of her relationship with George Shannon's face had grown brighter more often Her smile had made everything go smoothly and had even changed her fortune. Shannon made less mistakes in her work than she had before. The family members' opinions of her, op members opinion of her was slowly starting to change. Just the other day, she had been surprised when Cross rarely exchanged words with her and suddenly started talking to her. 最近いい笑顔をすることが多くなったじゃないか何か良いことでもあったのかねい,いえでも楽しい毎日ですはい
良いことじゃないか同じコーヒーなら笑顔で継がれた方がうまいに決まっているその笑顔でもう一杯頼めんかね A happy come on challenge for Shannon to gain confidence in herself. Of course, it didn't beyond, go beyond her own heart. It wasn't so big a change that anyone would notice. But she had begun to change, bit by bit. Yes,、yeah, she's more independent now. Shannon understood it clearly. Knowing love was the same as gaining a soul, same as being reborn from furniture into a human. There was absolutely nothing mistaken in Beatrice's words. By knowing love, Shannon had learned what it was to be a human. She's talking about Shannon, right? The witch gripped a teaspoon and flipped it with her fingers, sent it up in the air.、Mm. Oof. After that, it was launched by the fingers of some invisible person and flew straight into a nearby bush. The bush shook violently, and Cannon came out. Oof. It seemed that she had been there for some time watching their tea party. The spoon was gripped in his hand. Oh, he's quite badass. <laughs> he had been caught in, in an instant. I have hit him hard on the forehead and caused him to start oozing blood. Hansinseo, <laughs> 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 Shannon kept silent, silent, but there seemed to be a slightly hostile look in his eyes. On the outside, he acted with respect, but unlike Shannon, Cannon did not trust the witch. When Beatrice hit the table with her pipe, the tea set turned to golden butterflies, which flew upwards all at once. They then scattered in every direction. The cleanup was already done. Cannon had said it with a small voice, but the witch seemed to have heard me perfectly. She giggled, but she did not reply. <laughs> <laughs> シャーノン、次の茶会ではジョージとの話をまた聞かせておくれ。人の恋路より甘い茶会は他にない。<笑><笑>それではさらばだ。I'm just waiting when she rips those work clothes. Oh, it's going to be very bad for George and Shannon. I'm, I'm already, I'm already expecting it. Beatrice's body also became, became gold butterflies, which scattered in all directions and disappeared. It was a fantastical and beautiful scene, like a blizzard of gold leaf. For a while, Shannon quietly watched the witch's exit. Cannon approached her from behind and spoke with an expression that was drastically different from hers. ベアトリーチ様はそんなに悪い人じゃない確かにちょっと怪しいところはあるけれど僕たちにしか姿が見えない時点で十分にうさんくさいよあいつは人間じゃない何を企んでるかわかるものかカノン君それは少し失礼だと思うな<笑>シャナン you're going to realize later on that Beatrice is not going to be your friend There was a touch of sternness in Shen's voice, which was unusual for her. Man, I just see tragedy in Shen's future. To Kenan, we knew her well. She must have sounded extremely stern. Kenan, looking excessively surprised considering Shen's tone, fell silent. Ah. Tashkani, Beatrice, Sama, wa, Ningen to a chingal. 
、恐ろしい力を持っているし、恐れ敬わなければならない存在だと思う。ビアトリス、今、気持ちが出てきた。キズノマガタリムービーズ。今、気持ちが出てきた。そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、人間とは違うからといってそれだけを理由に意味嫌うのはとても失礼なことだと思うの。She's beautiful, she's funny, she goes along with your conversations, then kills you in the, last, in the next moment, and she feels no remorse. That's, that's the, the kind of vibe I'm getting from Beatrice. Maybe she even laughs at you. That's the problem. 姉さんはあいつにあのブローチをもらってから変わったまるで魔女の虜だよジョージ様との中を取り持ってもらって頭が上がらないんだ can I, can I in そんなことを言わないであいつは人間じゃない、oh, like、何を考えてるかわからないだから気を許しちゃダメなんだそして人間じゃないのは僕らも同じだよ姉さん Can this word grew more serious? Those words probably gouged at Shannon's heart She bit her lower lip and hung her head 僕らは家具だたとえ名前をもらい人として接してもらったとしても僕たちの生まれが変わるわけじゃない。You are no longer furniture. Those words Beatrice had given her, which made her happiest, floated through Shannon's mind. カグじゃないよ。Oof. Wow. That development. Okay. Okay, Shannon. うん。カグだよ。僕たちは人間未満の存在だよ。Okay, Cannon, you can continue being edgy all you want. 姉さんはそこを忘れたふりをして、人間のふりをしているだけ、自分でも分かっているはずだよ。私、家具じゃないもん。人間だもん。いや、人間じゃない。僕らには愛する資格も、愛される資格も初めからない。Shannon's criticism seemed to have shifted away from Shannon's meetings with the witch. She's saying that,、yeah, he's saying all this, but I guess he feels insecure about himself, is what I'm getting. Shannon picked up on that quickly. でもその満たない分をもし得られたならそれは人間になれたということじゃないのかなそんなものありはしないよ。うんあるのそれを得たなら私たちは家具なんかじゃない人間になれるよバカバカしいなれるものかうふっキャノンスパッドウォーズアウトウッウィークリーエンタンドウェイウォーズプロブルギビングアップアフターオールドサフリングヒドングドゴンドゥリングドウォーズデイズヒドゥリヴアズフォーニチュア His heart was firmly sealed. sealed. なれるよ、カノン君も、普通の人間に。<笑>よしてよ、魔女の受け売りは。うん、ベアトリーチェ様に教えてもらったの。私たちは、世界の一なる元素を得ることで、人間になることができる。I love this music so、much. うん、それを満たさないなら、それは人間じゃない。だから人は一なる元素を得るために生涯を尽くし貫いていく姉さんが何を言っているのかわからないね<笑>よ迷い事なら聞きたくないよ<笑>なら
カノン君にも分かるように教えてあげるねほら姉さんの指の先を見て<笑>シャノン quietly pointed at the sea towards the horizon シャノン didn't understand what she meant and couldn't do anything except look between the horizon and Shannon's expression which seemed to be posing a riddle 海カノン君は海が何色に見える It was an extremely simple question. For a while, Kenan tried to guess at the meaning behind it. But he couldn't think of anything, so he answered obediently. Objectively speaking, the sea laid out beneath a cloudy sky, probably described best by Kenan's words. As Shannon closed her eyes and smiled, she shook her head with slightly. マッサオに見えるそういう意味緑色の信号を青っていうようなものでしょう違うの海はマッサオ私には分かってカノン君には分からないならこれがつまりそういうことなのキャノン bit his lower lip and was silent for a while <笑>分からないよカノン君手を出して As Kenan was taken aback, unable to understand what she was saying, she took his arm and opened the palm of his hand. Shannon softly said something there. Oh, the brooch. Oh, it was the magic brooch she had received from Beatrice. I thought it would be for Jessica instead. A magic charm, shaped like a gold butterfly, that could bring love to fruition. <laughs> だから、oh. 私だと思って、粗末にしないで。After being spoken to like that, he couldn't just throw it away. Kenan didn't know what he should do, and he stood there, confused for a while. Groot still on the palm of his hand. Shannon put the palm of her hand on top of Kenan's. The brooch was worn by both their hands. これは、本当の魔法の力を持ったお守り。きっとカノン君に大切な気持ちを教えてくれると思うのあいつの魔法で教えられることなんて何もないうんあるのだから身につけて恥ずかしければ懐に忍ばせておくだけでもいいそうなのバカバカしいあいつの魔法なんかに惑わされてたまるか Even as he said that Kenan couldn't be cold hearted towards something s h a n n e l was urging him to take In the end, Kenan took it and agreed reluctantly, saying that he proved he wouldn't surrender, that he wouldn't surrender to the witch's power. Shannon smiled and nodded back. Mm. ネズミ色は何度見たってネズミ色さ違うよカノン君そう見えるのは愛がないから Because you have no love That's what she's saying I don't know why they keep blocking that It lo only looks like that because you have no love <laughs> Because of the howling wind You hadn't been able to catch the main point of what she just said So Shannon said it once more Single element of the world. He spoke once more of the, the world where it existed, where the sea was deep blue. Kitta, Kanon k u n i mo masa na umi ga mieri yo. Datte. Without love, it cannot be seen. Oof. I don't know. I'm thinking. You're going to crash and fall, Shannon. Those were for Kinzo to leave, leave his study. However, the fact that he, hadn't did, that he had didn't mean his noble research had been suspended. He may have left his study because of a change in mood. That didn't mean that thoughts filling his head were any different from those he had while inside the study. He didn't need that no matter what time, but the time, speaking to Kinzo when he didn't want to be spoken to, would always disturb his research. Yes, 
いつ雨があってもおかしくないと。Question, what kind of color does, does Kinzo see the sea as? Does he see it as gray or deep blue? And what color does Battler see the sea? 傘をお持ちいたしましょうか。それには及ばん。しばらく私を放っておくがいい。息子たちに聞かれても所在は知らぬと言っておけ。私は自らの思考をめぐる旅で忙しいかしこまりましたそれでは失礼いたします Before Kenan finished bowing, Kinzo had already returned to his own world, having forgotten Kenan's presence completely. And once again, he began rambling to himself. I missed those words, the same name of that witch popped up many times. Beatrix! <laughs> ベアトリーチェお前の微笑みに手が届かぬどうすれば蘇るのかどうすれば再び微笑んでくれるのか何が足りぬ研究か資料か触媒かそれとも魔力か運気か信託か Didn't Beatrice or Shanja or Beatrice just said it.、Uh, the single element. Oh, Beatrice! Do you see the b a o m a y o o i o m i r o t o a d e k i r u o d a Come on, Kinzo, without love, it cannot be seen. Oh, As Kenan listened to his master's weeping voice with his back turned, he turned around once more. When he did, right behind his isolated old master was the shadow of the person who shouldn't have been there. Ooh. It was the witch. At once, thinking that the witch must be plotting to do Kinzo some harm, Kenan dashed back to Kinzo and tried to form a shield with his body. When he saw the expression of the witch's face, the emotion vanished. Because Beatrice's expression was sorrowful, or maybe pitying. Orocana Kinzo, Warawa, a coconi iru to you no ni. Mie no no ka. Right behind Kinzo, as he repeated the witch's name over and over, desiring to be reunited with her more than anything else, was the witch herself. And yet, Kinzo didn't notice anything. When Beatrice tried to rest her hand on his shoulder, he didn't notice. Naze da! なぜベアトリーチェの微笑みに手が届かぬのか月齢か水星の周期か惑星の配列か何が足りぬのだ何が何が無駄よ金ぞ愛がなければ見えない、yep. Oof Shannon said it before Beatrice said it before So basically, that's the theming. Kenan took the brooch he had received from Shannon out of his pocket. By learning something new, would he, become, would he become able to glimpse something he could not see now? <laughs> yep, that's the theme.、Oh. He looked at Kinzo's back once more, which could no longer be seen there. Without love, it cannot be seen. Ooh, what's this? Culture Festival. The biggest fall event for the Yushurumiya family was the family conference in October. But for Jessica, it was another major event that came before that the school cultural festival. Jessica liked school. To her, it was a place that she. That she could let out the stress she had been b u i l d up from the richest lifestyle she was forced to lead at home. For today's cultural festival, she formed a group with her friends and had announced that they'd be performing some light music on a temporary stage. She had prepared and practiced for this over and over until today, always anxious awaiting this day's arrival. There was one thing that worried her lack of boyfriend. She looked at the clock. 
I was still a little time, but she felt uneasy. Would that person really come? Without taking a single deep, deep breath, her heart jumped when all her friends started speaking in shrill voices. ダメダメうちの旦那ギャル男だし <laughs> Oh my god It may not be like this for all girls but At least to Jessica's school The culture festival was basically a boyfriend's exhibition Jessica didn't have a boyfriend She had many friends of the opposite sex But no special one yet But Jessica was a little bit famous around school And very tall Everyone thought it'd be natural for her to have a fitting partner. Furthermore, her pride had led her to pretend that this was true. She'd somehow managed to keep them fooled until this year. For various reasons, she hadn't been able to escape this year's culture festival. Jesse! Karishi, kita? Huh? Ah, ah, no, I not Oh. I want to clear. Okay, nice. <笑>仕事を忙しいのかな。ジェシーの彼氏どんな人なの？せめてヒントだけでも出してよ。何系？何系？すごいよね。社会人なんでしょ？スーツとかで来る？もちろんメガネかけてるよね。キャー！ねえ
私とジョージ様のことを茶化してばかりのお嬢様への仕返しです Listening to Shannon's comeback, likes of which didn't happen every, even once a year, Eska hugged her cushion and rolled around on her bed, pretending to faint in agony. Finally, Shannon was like this every time, and then she would be asked here. She couldn't stand Shannon's smile, which looked so triumphant, but right now she was the only person Jessica could talk with. She could choke her to death with her cushion later. いいじゃないですかお嬢様文化祭ではありますがカノン君と一緒に遊びに行くチャンスですよいやそれはそうだけどいやいやいやいや<笑> Oh come on I need to see that Jessica buried her face in her favorite pillow to hide the fact that her face had grown bright red and she grumpily chewed a fingernail on her thumb、really、was a re- reaction to be appreciated Shannon and Jessica were about the same age, the same sex, of the same sex and friends. And they were both right in the middle of puberty. They could never talk enough about love. That's why they could talk freely about these topics to each other. And that's the reason why I don't support George's relationship. So Jessica had heard about how Shannon and George's love, love was progressing. And Shannon had heard about what type Jessica liked, what kind of man she might be interested in. Judging by Jessica's reaction, it probably would be rude for us to go precise, precisely what these things were. However, this story wouldn't get anywhere if we, just, if we just have Jessica rolling around forever. So let's dive in. Jessica had been thinking about Cannon ever since he'd shown up. It was extremely rare for a young man to visit Rook and Jima, so maybe it was natural for Jessica, a girl in her property. Develop an interest in canon. If anyone said that, it would destroy the romantic ideals of a maiden's pure heart and love at first sight. Shannon had been with Canon a long time at the orphanage, so she had known him since before they started working. So Jessica had asked persistently about what his hobbies were, what his favorite food was, what type of girl he liked. Even to Shannon, it was clear that Jessica was infatuated with Cannon. No, Cannon can be a date to get to the other side. I think it's a good thing. But, 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 <laughs> そうそうツンドラとか言うそうですよツンデレあと十数年かすると流行るんだそうですよへえさすがジョージ兄さんだな未来のトレンドがわかるのかよ Wait ツンドラ Let me see that I don't ツンドラツンドラツンドレツンツンドラドレイアルファクランキーロブストラック But I don't think that she's the Tsundere type. She's more of a tomboyish type instead. It took several days of wasted efforts, but in the end, Jessica agreed to the plan of having Cannon pretend, pretend to be her boyfriend. Oh, I need to see this. Oh, I need to see her asking. Hi, it. Oh, I need to see it. Oh, this is going to be great. Okay. Jessica regretted calling out at such a bad time. c a n n o n looked lovely sullen. He had some bad days and some better days. Unfortunately, this reaction was the former. Yes, I'm s o r <laughs> all that confidence and effort she'd built up practicing in front of a mirror all night was wiped in about f- five seconds. Jessica turned bright red and hung her head. When he saw that, Cannon sighed. Jessica thought he was exasperated with her, and her face went pale. Shannon から聞いています。お嬢様の学校の文化祭へお供するようにというお話ですか
<laughs> I need to see. I need. Yeah, she's not a tsundere. そうなんだけど、あのすま。当日の予定はだ。どうかな。シャノンから当日は特にお嬢様にお仕えするよう厳命されております。僕は高校には行ったことがないのでわかりませんが、何でも <laughs> There's no wind running around. Shiromiya本家令状が庶民に劣ることがあってはならないと特に厳命されておりますので。Canon's <laughs> throwing. I don't know if it's canon or if it's Shannon, but they're throwing shade at at Jessica. Shannon,後でぶっ殺す! <laughs> 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 okay, Sharon, you should be like that every time. Jessica kept yelling with a strange voice and broken smile, like a tea kettle filled with boiling water. As Kenan watched this, he sighed again. Kenan wasn't wasn't an idiot either. He fully understood what Jessica intended by inviting her. But to be honest, playing along with Jessica's love game seemed like to be nothing more than an annoyance to him. Oof. So he realizes it. However, Shannon had asked him over and over. He was deeply indebted to her, so he couldn't refuse. And that brooch was in his pocket. Because a strange turn of events had been brought by, about by the magic power residing in his brooch. Ridiculous. But he remembered what Shannon had said to him that day. What does Shannon see that I cannot see? I don't understand Shannon's feelings. We are furniture. As if it could ever become anything more. It was a truly odd exchange, exchange between Jessica, who was still rambling on in a strange voice, and Kenan, who sighed deeply. Oof. I don't know how. Oh man, I, I want to see Kenan. Jesse! I don't want to see Kenan and Jessica in the school setting. It's gonna be fun. As my friends all gathered together, they looked at Sora. They were looking this way, with hard to describe expressions. Whispering to each other in small voices that weren't small anymore. My attempt to play dumb felt pretty transparent, even for me. Did I really just say sorry? Who is it? Like I don't know who just showed up. Ah, uh, it's useless. It's useless. My mind's going blank. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Fucking way, <weird>, dude. <laughs> no fucking way. No fucking way. This is cannot be true. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I always <laughs> No fucking way man Did you just Did you just show with That fucking outfit <laughs> Man <laughs> Are they going to laugh or not No fucking way. He's so cringy. Oh my god. He's so cringy with those edgy clothes. Oh my god. So good. No. How, how is he incredible with that fucking black coat coming out of a vampire movie? <laughs> oh my god. 
he's 16 and she's 18. I guess that 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 isn't too bad, I guess. <laughs> Ma man, the, the, the coat, the fucking trench coat. Oh my god. This is so good. <laughs> oh my god, he looks like he came out of a, a vampire slayer movie or whatever. <laughs> what the fuck? It looks fucking weird, man. あ、そんなことないよ。シャノン、後で見解給とくし。なんだかここは女の人ばかりで居心地が悪いです。で、だよね、ペラ。さあさ、ここじゃなくてステージの方に行こうぜ。もうすぐ私たちの出番だからさ
Kevin sure is incredible with that clothes, with that outfit. <laughs> Just remembering makes me laugh again. <laughs> hora, hora. Jumbi, jumbi. <laughs> I thought he was edgy when he was introduced, but this was too much. <laughs> okay, Canon, Canon, you're you're firmly in A rank right now. When Jessica took the brass knuckles out of her pocket again, everyone energetically returned to their tasks. Wow. Oh, I love this track again. Yes. <sighs> this is basically Canon's soundtrack. Canon's theme. White, white shadow, I guess. Canon went down the corridor Jessica had shown him and ran into a temporary st stage set where the vending machine should have been. It was probably rented by the hour by some group or club. Once singing were student groups, but the crowd was still incredibly excited. It's like slacking that clatter. He leaned against the wall in the darkness by himself, being edgy with the trench coat. So, this is what they call high school. It sure is noisy. That's what Cannon thought. Then he remembered Jessica just now, acting in a way he'd never seen before. Honestly, she was such in high spirits that alcohol might be involved. To him, remaining composed and intellectual at all times was the highest virtue. In that sense, it was very hard for Kenan to get used to the atmosphere of a school festival, school cultural festival. He had the responsibility to report everything he saw and heard to the master. So he also had to report about how Jessica had acted without restraint earlier. At the very least, it was not fitting for the daughter of the Yushurmiya head family, the master, Cross-sama. Especially Natsuhi-sama would probably be very angry. If I, if I am to report in a way that protects my lady, should I, blame it, should I blame it on inappropriate school friends? <laughs> Kenan thought back on how Jessica had acted earlier and sighed again. I could understand Natsuhi's headache a little now. Come to think of it, Natsuhi-sama, as the president of the PTA, wow, was supposed to go an inf to an informal gathering after attending the ceremony in the gymnasium. She said she wouldn't be able to see Milady's performance, didn't she? That's probably for the best. <laughs> Several female student students kept glancing at me. <laughs> it seems like they all they have all whispered the same thing as my lady's school friend said, and it's truly unpleasant. Don't think of it, didn't Shannon warn Nimi? If you walk alone at something like a school festival, you'd better watch out because lots of strange people will come and talk to you. Uh, Just as expected, a group of girls I never met before started talking to me. Oh man, Cannon get, gets a lot of action and I get none. Their stares start to make my back tingle. Didn't she tell me some magic words that could chase them off in times like this? Um, I have a girlfriend. Ah, it worked. Instant reaction. Well, I got rid of them. I didn't hadn't really changed the number of people staring at me. Everyone thought, it, everyone thought it was fake. There was no way I'll ever come up to a place like this again. Can incite about the zillionth time that day. When he did, the lightning changed, and the standing audience started cheering. He looked around and realized that there was suddenly a large, large group of people there. And unlike earlier, they were mostly guys. Oh. With this huge crowd, he couldn't even see the stage. Fortunately, there was a falling beer case nearby, so he tried using that as a footstool. And he did, he realized now there was a no, no, now a new group on the stage. 
What is this outfit? Oh my god. Their leader is Milady. She's changed into the stage clothes and she's even holding a guitar. Oh my god, this is so cringe. <laughs> I didn't know she could play. Then again, maybe she could, but this is amazing at the same time. Maybe she can play. I've never seen her practicing air guitar before. Not see Sama wouldn't approve of any hobbies outside outside of study. Maybe she was always practicing in secret. Come to think of it. She's been returning really late from school recently, hasn't she? Maybe she's been practicing at school, far away from not see Sama's prying eyes. It, it really is for the best that not see Sama didn't come. Lady were to get scolded by Nazi Sama after putting so many hours of practice in, she'd probably get be dejected. She's quite famous. Yep, that that was explored last episode. Battler and Jessica are really, really popular. I could hear Jessica Sama's fossil voice through the speakers. Jessie Sama. Maybe that's her nickname at school. The students in the audience kept calling out that name. I'm a little offended by the crude name. It's inappropriate for a lady. Jessica Sama was in high spirits as they kept shouting Jessie Sama. Everyone here was probably a fan. Her meek mic performance. Oh. Sorry. Her mic performance picked up on that and electrified them even more. It was almost like a music program on TV. At first he thought it was all this was all silly. That feeling had changed into appreciation. It was incredible in its own way. Ken never, never listened to music on of his own free will. But he had often heard the kind of music the Yoshimiya family liked. This was almost all classical. Kenan had naturally taken a liking to that kind of music. So to Kenan, the song Jessica sang was, how should you say it, extremely colorful. In any case, if not to Sama heard it, she probably faint. Oh my god, look at it! Oh my god, this is amazing! But everyone looked like they were having a really good time. Some die hire friends who even. who had even brought pen lights, sang along and danced crazily with the same movements, almost as though it had been playing the head. I'm bopping to the music. On the stage, Jessica Saman also sang enthusiastically, dripping with uh, sweat. Couldn't find a single element that was appropriate for a daughter of the Ushurumiya family. It looked like so much fun. What is that? I must not go along with it, but at any rate, the lady is full of life and looks like she's having a great time. As I watched Milady enjoying herself, I thought, this be the usual me Jessica's true nature. Don't I know better than anyone that during her life in Rokinjima, she had no choice but to kill her sense of self. All the time she spends not as Milady, successor of the Ushurumiya family, but as a single girl called Jessica, living life to the fullest, it's very important to her. I've worked close to Milady, seen her in all seasons, and thought I knew everything about her. But that was all limited to one side of her, the Milady of Rokinjima. We are furniture, we serve on Rokinjima, and end our lives on Rokinjima. So I've come to think of Rokinjima itself as a our whole world, and thought like in pitomalatic pitom uh, theory. The ocean spilled off at the end of the world in an abyss. When I looked at the lady like this, 
I can see how horribly narrow that outlook is. I still can't go along with the excitement of the crowd. I feel like I can see something that cannot be seen on Rokinjima. I'm not sure if this is on the unseeable thing Shannon was talking about, but the ones but the ocean still doesn't look blue to me. Is that it? Ah, oh, I want more. <sighs> Seagulls are crying. Moonlight night. Moonlit night. Kyoa Jeshka no Gakko no Bunka Sai datta na. Kochou Sensei wa o genki de orare ta ka ne? Ee, o genki na yo deshita. So so, Takamiya Giin mo oide ni natte orimashita. Anata ni yoroshiku to, toku ni itte orimashita yo. Hmm. Ai kaarazu kotabou sou ka ne? So no yo deshita. Ano kata mo seiryuk teki na kata desu. そうそうあと江ノ本会長もおいででしたっけ私はジェシカスコートフェスティバルを始めたらジェシカスコートフェスティバルが始まったら学校の人々が集まったらジェシカスコートフェスティバルが始まったらジェシカスコートフェスティバルが始まったらジェシカスコートフェスティバルが始まったらジェシカスコートフェスティバルが始まったらジェシカ Jessica didn't really have an interest in that discussion and rudely slurped of her pumpkin soup. Ojo sama, amari ogyogi ga yoroshiku nai ka to. Hey, hey, so lia waru kotta ze. Jessica, so yu kotoba zukai wa arata meru yo, itsmo itte imasu yo. Hai. Jessica answered discouraged. When he saw that, Cross smiled a bit little and paused his conversation with Nazi. Jessica, no, how was it? Oh, ah, ma. Mite imashita yo. Yoku ganbatte imashita ne. Oh, she was. We're seeing it all. Jessica, your mother really, really loves you. I'm saying this now. She might be strict as fuck, but she really, really cares about you. <laughs> Jessica's face turned bright red. She probably hadn't imagined that Natsuki would actually come to see her on stage. She felt a mix of happiness and embarrassment. Actually, she hadn't really wanted her mother to watch, so she didn't want to be told that her music was inappropriate for the Yushiromiya family. It certainly didn't make her unhappy to hear her parents say that she's done a good job after watching her try her best. Jessica もなかなか落ち着きと貫禄が出てきましたね。生徒代表にふさわしい振る舞いでしたよ。Oh, oh, um. The smile that had been there until a second ago, ago crumbled like sand. Jessica immediately realized that her mother was talking about something different. Jessica was also the school's student president. She had no interest in doing something so annoying, but her parents had been pushy, so she grudgingly accepted. Fortunately, she was popular at school, so she won the exact election easily. So, as he was praising her for the student council sponsorship ceremony at the beginning of the culture festival, actually, she had just carried that out half-heartedly. After that, she immediately met up with her friends. I had a stage re rehearsal for the rest of the time. ただ、挨拶が少し早口でした。内容は旧大点でしたが、早い口調はそれを薄れさせます。一呼吸多く癖をつけるといいでしょう。Oh, I feel bad for Jessica. But not he, yeah. After she finished eating, Jessica didn't feel like going straight to her room. 
Her room was basically the place her parents had ordered her to be. So perhaps for Jessica, instead of returning to her own room, being in an unknown location in this large mansion was a meager form of resistance. She's going to find Beatrice. Jessica felt like felt that even being in the mansion made her made it hard to breathe. So she went outside to the rose garden. She's going to buy she's going to find Beatrice. <laughs> All this drama <laughs> is making me want a more Battler Rudolph drama instead. Jessica laughed at what she was soaking over. I really, really want them to touch on Battler's six years. She laughed at what kind of words she could possibly be ex been, have been expecting. It was dumb of me. In the end, I was just acting like an entitled brat. I'm a little exasperated with myself, and it makes me want to laugh. <laughs> Just as she was, she was about to force a laugh, Kenan suddenly started talking to her, and she choked. <laughs> Jessica's expression became the one she always wore when looking at Kenan. The listless Jessica from a second ago was gone. If she had still only known Jessica as the eventual successor to the Shermia family as he had until yesterday, I might have mistakenly thought that Jessica's mood had strung, strung back to normal. That wasn't right. Now knew that a part of her he couldn't have seen until yesterday, so he understood that there was no way Jessica actually felt the way she appeared. Ah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Even though she had heard the words she most wanted to hear, Jessica acted shyly and couldn't accept them openly. Openly. Bokuniwa <laughs> At the time, Kenan had never felt as though he'd been looking down on Jessica this way. But all the people he'd seen playing special instruments were on the other side of the brown tubes and the TV. At the very least, he had me on the, the impression that it'd been impossible for Jessica. But I'm not sure anymore. カノン Oh, it's now translating to Fukuin instead of Gospel House. I'm sure I'm like that. Or not. Mm. Eh? Ooh. 
Kenan probably hadn't noticed that emotion himself. Most likely Kenan saw something that he never seen before, learned about it for the first time and felt envious. To drink, trick himself out of that emotion, he called himself furniture over and over. まあ、and furniture and lady is not. I was not about to say that, but stopped. わかりません。自分の好きなことに精一杯な自分という人は To make another me, one that isn't furniture. Through her relationship with George Sama, had Shannon give birth to another self that isn't furniture? And did this other Shannon see something that cannot be seen by furniture? Hmm. <laughs> 全然知らないぜ。でも、なんだか想像できる。カノン君のプライベートには多分何もない。ズボシでしょ。Kenan couldn't reply. That was answer enough. He had no concept of a private life. So Kenan would always be Kenan. So furniture will always be furniture. カノン君のカノンってさ。I don't know if I should continue saying Gospel House or Fukuin. In the Fukuin House, new graduates would all be, would be given new families and a new life, so they were also given a new name. In his case, that was Canon. Before, he had thought of himself as Canon and no one else. He remembered. There was definitely another. There definitely had been another self that wasn't canon. That was far, far away beyond the distant fog of oblivion. なら、カノン君にもカノン君である時とそうでない時で違う自分がいてもいいはず。使用人である時のカノン君は自らを嗅ぐと呼び厳しく事故を戒めてるかもしれない。でもカノン君じゃない時の君は。those words definitely weren't just lip service. This could have also been like this in the past. She had cursed her own birth into an environment different from all her friends at school. Once she had been a valid cons when only she had been in a heavily constricted environment, forced to learn all sorts of sorts of things. And she had even been told whom she was and wasn't allowed to play with. It may have been sad, but she hadn't given up resigning herself to the fact. But she may have been sad, but she had given up resigning herself to the fact that she hadn't been born under that, under that kind of star. 
one day, Jessica stopped giving up and surrendering. Stuff like the assure me of family customs and pressure didn't matter. She created a real Jessica inside herself. One could do what she really wanted to do. だからさ、自身である時は自分に思い切り素直に生きてる。だからこそ、自身である時も頑張れるんだ。カノン君にも、カノンである時と、カノンじゃなくて、その本名である時で、違うカノンじゃない時。自分を好きになれる自分になってみ
い,いえお嬢様を騙すことにもなるのですシャノンとジョージ様も必ず破綻するその日が訪れることをシャノンだって理解しているだろうにバカなことを。バカだってことはないだろそりゃジョージ兄さんは立派な人だし両親の期待も背負ってる確かに結婚とかになればエヴァおばさんがいろいろと口出しをしてくるだろうしまあその善とは他難だと思うぜでもなジョージ兄さんはそんなのに屈する人じゃねえおおジョージ is going to spit the wave out George doesn't have the courage to go against his mother when she gets angry. Only Hideyoshi can calm her down. Shannon will Juliet to Nanga Shineze. Kito Shiaze Nish the Kreer. Hito a Kagu to Koi Nado de Kinai. Ojo Sama a Kagu o I Suruko to Gadekimo. Bokuni Ojo Sama o I Suruko to Gadekinai to. So Moshi Agetai no des. Oof. Those words of Kenan. Kenan's crushed all of Jessica's bittersweet feelings from that day. There was no way her emotions could have predicted that she'd be refused so bluntly. In an instant, she lost the willpower that had led her to try and unravel something stubborn in Kenan's heart. Before she knew it, she was just standing there in shock. <laughs> 僕の思い上がりによるものならどうかお許しくださいい,いやまあそのそこは否定しねえぜありがとうございますえ僕を人間だと思ってくれてありがとうございますそのお気持ちだけで僕は本当に嬉しいですそしてそれ以上は僕には残酷すぎるからいやももう十分だぜその悪かったなうん、oh, I'm feeling sorry for Jessica I'm also feeling sorry for for Canon This is quite hard Jessica recklessly scratched at her head and spoke Trying to force her voice to sound bright. But the scanner is right. Things are going to go wrong. That's a problem. Oh, she's crying. Oh. I feel so bad. Yeah. Oh, she's going to practice sleep. Oh, she's going to practice sleep. Oh, she's going to practice sleep. She suddenly broke into a reckless dash and disappeared into the direction of the mansion. As he watched her back for just an instant, Cannon was tormented by the feeling he just made a huge mistake. But, but he hadn't made a mistake at all. He'd been forced to refuse her now for her sake, but the pain was still at its smallest. <laughs> なかなかやるではないか。おお、ビアトリスが今度ツーナイフ。タランタンタンタラランタンタンタラランタンタンタラランタンタラランタンタラランタン。お前がそこまで拒絶するとは意外であった。普通に受け答えしていれば、わらわの魔法で。二組目の恋人たちが生まれていたもの。いつからそこに最低なやつだな。When he turned around, the witch was suddenly there, 
It looked like she had been there the whole time, watching the two of them as though enjoying a play. Kenan pulled the butter butterfly brooch out of his pocket. It was a manifestation of the great magic the witch had bestowed. Without hesitation, Kenan slammed it against the ground and stomped on it. Oh, oh that's very, very... That's not good, Kenan. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. それは何を意味するのか今理解したお前がしているのは恋のキューピットなんて洒落たものじゃないお前は結ばれぬ者たちに恋を見せて Beatrice is not acting in good faith. I doubt it. ワラワが力を貸した人間の多くは、お前と同じようなことを口にする。放けるな。お前はシャノン憐れんで力を貸したんじゃない。恋に胸を焦がすシャノンの心の隙をついて、自分を封じていた鏡を割らせた。しかも
恋の味を知り楽園を追放された哀れな老いぼれの末路を死んでも死にきれぬさながら亡者のような生き様を見るがいい<笑> Yep, seeing, seeing the It's like seeing a car crash in slow motion Cannot take my eyes off it やはりお前は魔女だ Oh, I can't wait 消えて撃せろこの悪魔め<笑>頼まれずとも消えようまだまだわらわには力が戻らぬでの姿を現し続けるのはまだまだ疲れることスペシャリケンとジェスカ Actually, I want to see them crush and burn as well そなたら恋人たちに力を授けるのに無理をしすぎたのでの。ちょっと待って。直売のブローチなしで力を維持し続けるのは今のわらわには容易ではないケネン・グラウンド・ヒス・フィッド・イヴン・モアン・ブローチ・ヒフェルト・ブレイク・アンド・ヒス・フィッド・ヘン・イン・エヴェプレイド・ライク・ウォーターエチェンジ・トゥ・バター・フライス・スパーク・ゴールド・フラッティング・アウト・フロム・ベネフ・ケネン・スフィッドわらわもこの姿を保ち続けるのがちと苦しいしばしそなたの願い通り姿を消そう満ちぬ塩も月もないように我が魔力も必ず満ちるそして必ずや訪れようわらわがよみがえるにふさわしい時だ the, the, the それが明日のことか来年のことか、oh. さもなくば100年1000年未来のことかは想像もつかぬだがわらわを楽しませてくれる者たちがおる限りわらわは必ずや力を得てよみがえるであろうその時までしばし姿を消すそなたの手のひらにもはやあざはなくそなたが望むならば明日の朝にはわらわの存在など夢か幻のように消し去ることもできよう忘れ去られることほどわらわに悲しいことはないだがわらわは必ずよみがえるそしてその日がいつ訪れても後悔することのないよう自らを戒めよ Does Battler have looping powers? Oh this is going to be interesting わらわは必ずや再臨しこの島の真の主としてすべてを支配するその時こそ再び黄金鏡の扉が開かれる欲深な亡者たちが必ずやわらわを呼び覚ますくどい早く消え去れ黄金の魔女The witch became a cloud of gold butterflies and scattered away leaving behind a scornful laugh The whole area sparkled like a gold blizzard in a snow globe. It was a fleeting, fantastical scene that disappeared in a heartbeat. The witch could no longer be seen. However, Ken felt like he could still hear that shrill, unpleasant laugh. Ah, you guy, you guy. なぜに久しぶりの人の世はこうも愉快なのか恋に惑え黄金に惑えそのどちらにも惑わぬものなど人間にあらずなるほど故に家具とは言えたり<笑>家具は人間に奉仕するために生み出されるそしてわらわは。退屈なる千年の慰み者として人間を知りたげるそのわらわが家具を支配できぬとはなんとも愉快な三すくみ金蔵め実に面白いことをしてくれる家具めわらわを打てるか試みてみるがいい今宵、うん、マキタル恋の種は二つすでにまきたる種と含めてこれで3つ。
ベアトリーチェなぜに私を一人この苦害に置き去りにしたのか私は憎いこれほどまでに恋い焦がれているのに答えようとせぬお前を永遠に憎む親方様それ以上のお酒はお体に触ります南条先生からもご注意を受けておられるのでは黙れ源氏お前にはわからぬ我が嘆きも苦しみもわからぬお前だけは我が苦しみを理解してくれているとお前だけは我が最古の友人であると信じているのに源氏源氏 can't understand you because he is furniture なぜに理解できないというのか Furniture cannot love, therefore. Oh, Beatrice! Razi watashi dake o kizari! Oof. おいたわしやジェシカ様寝室から聞こえてくるすすり鳴く声に私は事情を知りつつもどうしようもないのでございます Again, Kumasawa creeping in the background She always knows the problems of people but never interferes That's a problem with Kumasawa Oh, there's nothing I can do すべては若すぎた二人と近すぎた距離そして生まれた家柄が遠すぎたゆえの悲劇私はただただお嬢様のお気持ちを汲み取り足音を殺して静かに立ち去るのみなのでございますいやクマサー「Oh you understand everything but you can do nothing、uh,」バババ。Oh, it's all because you are a coward. That's why you can't do nothing. You could at least talk to Jessica. But no. Still. What do you mean, Jessica? Jojie s a n 一人前になれたと思えるんだその時君と結婚したいそそれはそのえっとでもそれじゃもう僕の心が許せないんだだから君に婚約指輪を送りたいこ婚約ですかでもその私か家具ですしそうだったねじゃあ家具は人の言うことを聞かないとね今君に送るのにふさわしい指輪を作らせてる多分今度の親族会議の日には持っていけると思うその時に送るからどうか君の返事を聞かせてほしいんだ君が僕の婚約を受けてくれたら、oh, so、the conference is in a few days. 僕はその席でおじい様を含めたすべての親族の前で君との婚約を宣言するジョジョージさん君と僕の仲をふさわしくないと咎める人たちはきっといるエイヴァでもそいつらの顔を見る必要はない君はその瞳の中に僕だけを満たしていればいいから君を必ず幸せにするそれだけは絶対に約束するから。どのように実るのか。楽しみでならない。What is this? What is this track? 
売れに過ぎて腐り落ちる果実の駅に黄金の蝶たちは舞い降りぬ今より収穫の日が待ち遠しい、うん、宴の時はまだかまだか<笑><笑>はい。There's a lot of development this episode, so a lot of characters ranked up. Yeah, Battler and Maria are still tied to this top spot. With Berncastel right,、uh, right below them at third place. Then Beatrice finishing S rank. Now let's go to A rank. Ava. <laughs> I. Really like Ava.、Mm. Following Rudolph. I don't know, man. His voice actor, his personality is so striking that I just still rank him high despite him not having so much screen time.、But、I guess he's going to have more screen time now because the family conference. q r a y No, 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 no. Rudolf? Nazi. I, I thought she watched the concert. I was so rooting for that to happen, but didn't. k i r e i yep. I don't know. She needs more screen time. Rudolf as well. Both need a lot more screen time. <laughs> canon now. Actually, canon. So, Cannon jumped because of his、uh, trench coat. <laughs> And his whole development, this chapter, had been amazing. I really, really like where he's heading. Then, Rosa finishing up A rank. Starting B rank. Yeah, Rosa doesn't have screen time, but I still really, really enjoyed her character in episode one. Okay, let's start B rank. Shannon. Shannon actually rose for me, despite saying that、uh, I didn't like her archetype. It's because she changed a bit of her personality this episode. Uh, if only she had been、uh, more of a sarcastic servant like that every time, then she would be really high up. Actually, if she was sarcastic with everyone, she would be high up, but she's still here. s h u r m i a Jessica. She redeemed herself a lot, a lot this episode. So I'm pretty. Happy with her right now. Even though she,、uh, she didn't rise up the occasion last episode. And she really, really threw Maria under the bus on the last time. So, still she redeemed herself a bit. So, B rank. Who else? It's not much right now. B rank, maybe Komasawa. Maybe. And Genji. Komasawa and Genji. C rank still continues being the bland rank with Nanjo, Kinzo, Cross.
He's always entertaining this episode, so I guess he's the top of C rank. He's entertaining to watch. He's like a car, car crash as well. And then characters I don't like. Oh, I see the Yoshi as well. So yeah, these four adults that I don't like as much. And then the characters I don't like still George and still Goda. I'm sorry, I can't bring myself to like either of them. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I guess next episode we're going to see the next uh, family conference. See something. See if it's the same thing or did something change. Maybe Battler has the looping powers and it'll be interesting to see if he remembers something or not. Oh, if he remembers, man, that's going to be very, very, very interesting. Oh man, if he remembers, it's going to be very, very brutal if he remembers. So, let's end right here. <laughs>